Hey everyone, and so this is my queen aunt. She is, I caught her at the, over there at the night. She was just uh, hypnotized by the lights. I successfully I got her at the second time, the first time I failed. But the second time I finally caught her, I kept her in a box. She was running and was very angry. She didn't know where she was, but uh, but uh, but I kept put her in this test tube, and she calmed down the next day. And she she started to know the test tube more. And a few days later, she started laying eggs. That was the sign. Oh, that. Yeah was the sign that she was giving birth to her offspring. And the, the stages of an ant cycle are simple. First, egg, which is very crucial at the moment. And it is not much bigger than a rice grain. The second stage, a, a larva, which has five inch stars. The first instar, which is the youngest, as you know. The second is instar, which shows that it's growing. Third instar, which is starting to grow more by the nutritious soup fed by their mother queen. And the fourth instar, which is almost ready to be an adult larva. The fifth instar, where it's finally an adult larva. Soon, their bodies show dark black, uh, black rocks inside them. That's their poo, which is stuck over there. They only poo at their teenage stage. And then they start to pupate once they poo. And those black signs show that they pooed once they pupated. And then, after a after a few more long days, and the work, and the pupae become mature, which means that some are some are showing signs that they're gonna hatch into ants someday. And, and boy, is that mom protective and hardworking. You may be wondering, uh, where did this thing come from? And you, well, this ant came from a call from a, a different colony. Now she would take the fresh deep breaths when she, when her when her skin harder than and, and she looked out and and thought how would it be like for the grand nuptial flight. But her sisters would always always rush her in. She was one of the one of the important member to co to continue the species. So she was so it was lucky she was caught in this test tube, caught by me and my mother. And and this mother aunt is so aggressive. She's defending at. And defending them at any cost she can. As soon as the workers come out, they're real scaredy cats because they don't even know the world yet. But soon, but as soon as they go in big numbers, they can they can kill prey, which is much bigger than than them, because of their ant teamwork. And once the colony gets bigger, it's a giant colony of, of ants, and they can easily take out any living prey. And that every spring and summer, and, and even at monsoon, they will be producing a male and female alien workers. And they'll take to the sky once their big day arrives, like hers. And which is so cool, and they'll be flying out in the sky, searching for 
their own parents. And they could and they could cut their big day could be at Monsum where it is rainy and the soil is very soft and easy to dig. Well, this queen doesn't have to do that work because it's a test tube and it's not made out of soil. And and she is one good mother. And, and and there is a what and this is her new home where her when her colony gets so huge and this is this has more space more running tunnels and a good sponge to be to for their hydration and the young it's dried out but it'll be wet soon uh, this is, uh, the queen ant will uh, queen ant and her workers will be living in here uh, and this is their running space and uh, where i will put her their food and i hope they she will grow a colony that will fit in here perfectly i will be updating you on on her progress and when will they move in here and for now she needs to live in the dark and thank you all of you for watching this this video like subscribe and hit that notification bell if you like this video